small, medium, large, and extra, extra, extra large. What size would you like? Or would you like to supersize that? Uh, ma'am, this isn't a joking matter. Um, I would not. I would like, hello? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I, I'm, I'm about seven foot tall. Okay, so then you would need our extra, extra large. And what kind of comfort would you look for? Okay, ma'am, sorry. This is his friend. You're like blah, 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 poking fun, and he's like got six months or left to, to live? I mean, do you not have a heart? What is your problem? Oh, my God. I have never seen someone so cold-hearted running a fu funeral home. Do you enjoy your work that much? First of all, it is 2.32 in the a.m. This is not an emergency call, okay? He is not dying or dead. He has six months yes. to live. Yeah, that's what they say. He could be dead tomorrow. Doctors are not psychic. And you should not advertise a work number like that. This is a work number, last I checked, a funeral home. And, you know, you should have it go directly to voicemail or call forwarding or something if you are being disturbed. It sounds like you're disturbed already without the whole problem. It sounds like you just really don't <laughs> care. So, excuse me, I need to have this number open all night long for those who have departed in the last five, six hours, not for someone who still has six months to live. Well, the thing you know, is, is that he could, he could die tomorrow. He, the doctor said six months at maximum, and they also said that he could die, like, in the next hour, literally. I mean, you know, I'm sorry. Maybe maybe he should take his business elsewhere, because obviously, you know, you don't care. You obviously don't have a heart. He's trying to get this done as expediently as possible, because he doesn't know how long he has. And, you know, I mean, maybe we're calling the wrong place. Maybe we need to call someone who actually cares. Maybe that's what we need to do. But you know what? Um, this is one of his other friends. Um, you do sound pretty hot, though. What are you wearing? First of all, let me say this. When your friend, if your friend dies in an hour from now, call me then. I will be more than glad to handle whatever it is he desires. As it is right now, he's still living and he's still breathing. And this is taking up my phone I'm from... Sorry. Okay, you know what, you know what, you know what, okay, I'll make, I'll make a compromise with you. When you, when you actually, when you obtain, when you obtain a heart and a soul, we'll do business with you. But until then, we are going to take our business elsewhere, because obviously you enjoy your field a little too much. Don't, don't, don't listen to them, don't listen to them. Um, like, like, like I said, my name is John, um, actually, actually, my, my Shut up, John, get off this phone. This is none of your business. John. My, my first name's really Danny, and last name's Russo, and um, you sound really, really hot. Can, can I, like, get your personal number? Hey, Why would you want her number? I don't even want to do business with this person. Do you want to date a cold-hearted bitch? I mean, she don't she don't care that this guy, you know, could die in an hour. All she cares is about herself and that's it. Okay. Well, that's you know, all she cares I about is herself. Herself. Her 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 business too much. You get your jollies off this or You get your jollies off this or something? You, 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 you know, what if, what if you had six months to live or less, you know? Would you like to be treated like this? What the hell is your problem? You if you were in his spot, would you like being treated like this? Would you like it? Tell me. Would you like it? I think the cunt hung up on us. That was a good one. Yeah, that was good. Mark that one as uh, another good call. That, that's an officially calling a mortuary. On Halloween, officially calling a mortuary and being denied service. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm just like, right. you, you must enjoy right. your job too much. Do you get your tits out of this? Oh my god. You guys did I, did I legitimately you sound pissed right? off? No, I don't. Yes, you legitimately sounded pissed off. Yeah, man, you was like in there, man. If I had not to come in and was asking, you know, how she sounded hot and crap, she'd have been like, oh, man. Yeah, but I, I was, but that was perfect, though. I'm like, well, why do you want this girl's number? Would you want to date a girl like this? She don't even give a shit that this guy's like about to die. What the hell? Oh, my God, that was fun. You guys got to give us credit on that one. That one was good. The three of you did great. <laughs> I, I, well, we we all deserve right a pat on the back for that one. We all deserve that a pat on the back for this one. I think this is the only call where I think this is the only call where all four of us took part in it. I did not say a word. That was th uh, that, but that was still funny. Yeah, but I mean, oh my God, it's just like, I'm like, John, dude, you know, shut up. What the hell are you talking about? You know, this is, just, I, I'm like, just telling you, I'm just like acting pissed. Oh my God, that was 
Oh, guys, I say we call her back one more time and tell him he just died. Flasher, you can get into this. Yeah, you, it, oh, Slasher could be like, you know what, your timing is perfect, you dumb cunt, because he just died. All right, let's try it back. Yeah, but we're not going to use your service, you dumb dick. You can't give straight back. We were trying to get him off the couch. Hey, are you there? Uh, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> are, you, are you happy now, you dumb fucking bitch? He's fucking dead. You were a total fucking bitch to him. And that, oh my god. I can't talk anymore. I just want him off my couch. First thing you need, you need to relax, and you need to talk to me concerning your friend. <laughs> you were rude to him in his last hours. You fucking, I don't even know why John called you back. What is it you would like to do for your friend? Raise him from the dead? <laughs> I, 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 I didn't think it would be appropriate to bury you with him, you heartless man. <laughs> I know those words are only coming out of anger, and you are so upset about your friend. That's okay. Go ahead and let it out. I understand. We're, we're, we're so choked up about it. Yeah, no, I do. <laughs> we, we can't even talk with Crunk Ryan over here. Hello? 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 I want him off my couch. Hello? Hello? Oh, heartless bitch, she hung up on us! Hold on, uh, uh, listen, listen, two men, two men, two men. Um, call her, call her back one more quick time, I just want to say, oh, and, uh, just to let you know, everybody is going to know what a heartless service you run on our internet radio station. These calls have been recorded and are going to be broadcasted on the air, on the no, internet radio station. No, 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 yeah, oh. yeah, do it, do it. No, I won't say elsewhere, I'll just say an internet radio station on shoutcast.com. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I just thought I'd let you know that this has been a series of Halloween prank calls which are going to be Hello. aired on the Hello. internet radio station on shoutcast.com and everybody will know what a heartless service you run and your career is what's going to die because no one's going to give you business. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you for being on the air with us and hang up on this cunt. All right, guys, that's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. Oh, she oh, appreciated yeah, that. I really am dying. I'm being really? irony with me. No, no. Well, well, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, dude, dude. Eli's dying, all right. Dying of laughter. Dang it. All right, guys. This is going to conclude the first episode of T Man's Crank Calls. You know what? Why don't we yeah. call that pointless audio? Pointless you know what? Audio, this is dude, all this is going to be. Dude, well, dude, dude. We, we got the last laugh because now this time you hung up on her. That's true. I did. I was like, hung right, up on this call. Right, that's the official name of the show. It's going to be called Pointless Audio, gentlemen. You've just said in the first show of Pointless Audio. It's going to air at least once a week. Um, the host team in with the phone line. And the second is uh, Eli, is Slasher, and Time Warrior. You've been listening to Pointless Audio. We would like to thank all of our victims for being participants on Pointless Audio here on Osprey Networks. Your pure and unsolicited stupidity has brought joy to the hearts of all. Prank calls are not against the law. So please don't bother calling your lawyer. We will never call an individual, just stupid fucked up corporations and businesses. No one's personal information will ever be made public. We will never harass or threaten anyone or otherwise do anything illegal. Everything on this show and on our site is our opinion and is no way meant as slander. Free speech gives us the right to that opinion. So if you're offended, we plead the first. Fuck you. Thanks again for listening, and we hope you have a great day.